man look at that beard today that beard looks good today so uh, I'm on my way out to the property for barn build day five I stopped at Home Depot to grab a Makita router the plans call for a specific Makita router that uh, the uh, CT post and beam the people that supplied the, the tools and the uh, T-Rex brackets for this build they also have an attachment for this specific Makita router, but probably because of the pandemic and whatnot, there's none available anywhere within a couple of hundred miles from me. So uh, I ended up buying a rigid that looks very similar to the Makita, and we're gonna try that. So we got a little bit of unboxing action with a, uh, a rigid router today, and uh, we will, finish up these 8x12s by chamfering these uh, these slots so that those T-Rex brackets can fit directly in. And then we will start uh, uh, running some countersink one inch holes into uh, a bunch of 6 by 8 So uh, come along and before you get to the end of the video, if you like the barn build and you're interested in seeing when I'm out here, go ahead and subscribe and you will get an alert every time I'm out here. Thanks for watching. So let's see what this thing uh, looks like. Maybe it'll work, hopefully. I've uh, never actually owned a router. I'm not really a woodworker. So what do we got here? So it looks like it comes with a bit. But I don't need that because Mine came with a bit, specific bit. And then this. No. Doesn't look like it. Let's see. Those, these two holes fit. These two don't. Okay. Nothing we can do about it. Pack it back up. Take it back to the store. Now, what I'm doing is uh, measuring these out to 12 feet. These are the floor joists for the second floor. And they're 12 foot long, so 144 inches. There's 10 of them, more than that, but 10 of them that are 12 foot long. And then what I'm going to do, so I'm going to size these up and then I'm going to bore holes, countersink some, some holes for some, some uh, lag bolts to go in here. 44.
ten of them. I'll drill some holes. These all at two inches. And these are for the lag bolts to go through. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, countersink these. One inch. These are not cuts. These are just me marking center of this post that I'm going to measure off of there. So you can see what I did here. I took uh, my marker and I marked it. It's a paint marker. And I marked this so from the Forstner bit to the uh, to the end of that red mark is one inch and then that way I don't even have to think about it I just have to look to see you know once my red mark hits and you can use tape you can use all kinds of sorts of things but that's uh, that's what's going on here so what I found is that by letting the drill just spin at the, at the face of the wood you get a cleaner finish. I'm just gonna let it spin here. And then once it starts to grab, then I'll give it a little pressure. And I get a much cleaner hole. I've got some idiot buddies who are laughing about clean holes right now. I guarantee you that. So I'm just gonna let it spin. I'm not pushing, I'm just letting it run. And then once I feel it start to grab a little bit, I'll let it go. And I get much better results that way.
my deadlift is gonna be ridiculous once this barn is done. I have went through some wood today. Um, I've done two trailers full of uh, wood today, so I am really happy with the progress. Um, it was beautiful outside. It was about 35, 36 degrees and sunny all day. You can't ask for a better uh, day in the middle of December. Um, so I am going to uh, wrap this up. I'm going to take these over to the cut the uh, uh, drop off zone there and uh, clean up and get out of here and head back home and get some dinner. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Thanks.